What is good, y'all? So tonight, or today's Thursday, August 17th. I was about to look at my watch. August 17th. Look at that. My outfit that I originally was gonna wear that I've worn before is dirty. And this is what I brought. They were backups for something that I thought maybe like it'd be at night. Wouldn't really see that well, which is, this is still at night, but. but I'm going to a listening party for Leon Thomas. I know who he is because one, or you all might know who he is from Victorious, but also he wrote Snooze for SZA and a bunch of other songs. That's just the one that came out most recently. So I'm gonna use that as a reference. He's just a really good songwriter. Um, and so my sister told me about it. I was like, yeah, I'm down to come with you through her job. So right now I'm just getting ready. But yeah, I'm excited to see what the vibes are. It's in Inglewood. I got a lot of stuff done today. I didn't record a lot because I was actually rushing. This morning I had a freaking meeting at 9.30. So I had a meeting for about an hour, 9.30 to 10.30. Um, in the morning I started doing my clothes to get washed. Did like a load of laundry because I was like, I need to do something, get some of the stuff washed that I need to wear. And then I had a studio session with somebody in my class, my vocal tech class, which is actually a lot of fun. I was super nervous for it. We're doing a duet. Somebody that I used to know, Gautier. That song was actually really fun to sing. And I was in that room singing Kimbra's part and I was like literally hitting that note that she gets into when she goes into the chorus. Because of him, like he just has that like, I don't give up energy. And I was just like, I need to adapt that. Cause I'm just like, I don't know. I'm always in my head about it, especially when I'm at Icon. I'm like, oh God, people can hear me. What's gonna go on, this, that, and the other. And he, like I said, does not care. So I went into it with the same mindset because he was just hitting stuff and he and he was like doing a good job with it. He like, like I said, was just hitting the notes, was like, I'm, a, I'm doing this for me. I'm having fun with it. And once it got to my part, I was a little nervous. I was like, okay, I gotta, this is my part. All right, he's gonna hear me sing. People outside were gonna hear me sing. I actually didn't think about the people outside the studio hearing me sing until later because he was so invested in it. I know I like, say a lot about him but it was just like the energy that i got off from him that really like helped and once i got there i was just like i want to hit this because we're doing this together i don't want this to sound as good as possible as we can to the original and i was hitting them things at least in my mind i was and it sounded pretty good when we came back to it and then he like wanted me to do like this elmo voice this was really high and he was like oh are you how you ever hit me like really encouraging all that stuff. He just has that energy that even when you're doing something that you think might be silly, he's just like, whatever, like, let's just try it. Let's see what happens. And I was like, you know what? Let's just try it. So that was really cool. I had a really good time with that. That was until like 2.30. Then I came to my sister's house, supposed to have a phone call with someone. And then um, I was trying out the projector for our event on Saturday and that wasn't working. So that was annoying. Then I went and grabbed something to eat. And then I took a nap because I was exhausted. That's a lot of brain power, like switching brain power from one thing to another, which for me has been exhausting, you know? And then like all my free time is filled with like other thoughts. So it's like, me trying to just like make sure my mind's okay but also get the stuff done that i need to get done especially because at the end of the day whatever i haven't gotten done for other things that i've known about for a while it's just on me you know like my event we've known about that since probably april i forget we're trying to do uh, an event every quarter basically and so we knew about that event but we just you know haven't been focused on it because we have so much other stuff going on so we knew about that and that's like, to me, when I know about something, I'm like, okay, that's on me to get it done earlier so that I'm not forcing myself to have to worry about other stuff later. But yeah, we're gonna figure that out. The projector is not working the way it's supposed to, so that's very annoying. But we might have to buy a new projector just for the night. Uh, yeah, so that was my day. It was a lot, it was a lot. And now I'm getting ready to go out tonight for an event. So, what, is that like six or seven things? I know some people's days are just like this all the time, but I'm like, dude, I'm so exhausted changing my mind from one thing to another to another. And I think once I get a rhythm down of everything, it'll be better. But for right now, this is where I'm at, just scattered. I am all done with my makeup. So I'm gonna do my usual hairstyle. The one with these in the front, they, this on top, cause I got a big old head. I probably haven't seen any of the people that I've seen here tonight. So it doesn't matter if I'm wearing a hairstyle they've never seen before. Like duh. So yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> I knew that we would jump again, I testify of you I told I like you, that bitch I do it All in the whole world, you're kidding, dude I'm not, as long as you're joking, now here for me I got it, I 
about it and like i feel like everybody has something to do but all good that's what happens we're just gonna roll with it have a good time tonight whoever's we're supposed to show up is going to show up so again getting ready like i usually do in here last time y'all saw me i just went to a listening party i think it was for leon thomas that was actually really good so it was a whole album i didn't know it was gonna be a whole album i thought it was maybe an ep or something and i didn't know how many songs he was gonna perform so that was pretty cool. From there, we went out, got some drinks, stuff like that. Now we are about to go to Boyle Heights at my friend's bar. And whenever we throw an event there, we can just use the space. He's really cool about it. We're really tight. Uh, I met him through work. His name is Johnny. Shout out Johnny for hooking it up for us. We're going to use the space, do a karaoke night, and have a good time. It's just crazy how things are happening. And then like right now, Hurricane Hillary is happening. We're about to happen. And we got like sandbags and stuff for our house and stuff like that, which, you know, at first you're like, oh, okay, like this might be a bit overly precautious, but people are talking about it like, dang, like I didn't even know about it until recently because I don't watch the news. It's just kind of like, the news is just, I don't know if it's just me, but right when you turn it on, you hear about somebody dying. Like obviously I want to know and I want to stay informed with things, but sometimes like when I'm just like having a hard day or not going through it. That's not the first thing I want to go to. Like I want to literally laugh and or be entertained or think about something else that might be fake. Like I know Criminal Minds might be based on real people or you know people that actually do stuff like that, which it is. You know, I like watching shows like that or like New Girl, that's my show. Or Love Island. People don't understand why I like it, but I do. But yeah, we're getting ready for tonight. Um, I should be ready in a little bit. We're gonna change when we get there, I guess. I forgot about that. And have a good time, y'all. I'm just excited to just be out doing stuff with my friends cool stuff with my friends and yeah it's a good time i am gonna see y'all later yeah i have to call uber all this stuff so peace we're all done setting up here's the back side it's flipped over a lot of setting up this is all covered so nobody can see it all right i'll show y'all everything later That's a man I told you about this 60 watch. So move your camera around, right? You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now move it like around. You see how it looks? It doesn't look as smooth. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I got this, whatever this is. It's the best tequila you might ever have. The blood blood. Why are you snapping it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Did boy, yes, this is Inception. <laughs> Welcome to Tyler's Vlog. Okay, I don't know what to say. And if it was, I don't have any cooties. Nothing like that.